Hey guys, Steven here with the next installment for Westy White Noise, where I try and feed some things into the community that I uh, think and hope will be beneficial. Um, I'm still getting used to this whole vlogging thing. I'm not too great at it yet. So uh, this time while I was trying to collect my thoughts for this, I uh, couldn't get the videos right. I just kept bombing and stalling and all kinds of stuff. So what I ended up doing is I actually wrote everything down. And you can probably just tell that the lighting on my face changed because my computer turned off because I have it in my lap. Because I'm just going to read to you my thoughts. That way I can cogently give them to you. Cool? So, the thing that I have had on my mind recently is uh, competition. I've actually had a very unhealthy and negative relationship with competition recently. And in trying to correct the issue, I um, have came across some things that I think would be beneficial for others. Um, I'm not going to share the whole personal story, but uh, I am going to share some of the things I went through and some of the thought processes and hope that other people can take some things from that. Number one, and this is actually a quote from Robert Royston, brilliant man that he is, there's no such thing as a dance emergency. This is coming from someone who for the past 13 years has now relied on dance as his sole source of income, meaning if I sucked at my job, I didn't eat. So, well, yeah, this has uh, been a pretty important part of the community for me. I still firmly believe in the idea that there is no such thing as a dance emergency. Our community and culture is about joy and the sharing of joy. And while I absolutely do think in some ways it is a necessity rather than a luxury, there are definite ways to make this toxic in your life. And overemphasizing competition is one of them. Speaking as a judge, our opinions as judges, while educated, are mostly just opinion. They're, they're arbitrary in that they're related only to that certain time and space and dance that you're having at that moment. There's plenty of instances where I love someone's dancing, but I still have to place them last because of the dance they had. So there's no point in placing your self-worth as an individual or as a dancer or anything off of the results you get into a competition. It's completely okay to experience negative side effects from a competition. It's not okay to let them dominate you or make your decisions for you or negatively impact others. No such thing as a dance emergency. Number two, competition isn't about partners, points, and placements. It's about dedication, expectation, and preparation. This is super important. This is where I went wrong, personally. Yeah, uh, I lost my why for a while there. I got so wrapped up into trying to do what would place and what I thought would win because I somehow got it in mind that that was important to me as an end result. And uh, inversely, those things suffered for it. Uh, my expectations were in the wrong place. So were my preparations. You want to get better results competitively, you have to know your why. What got you into this to begin with? What motivates you for it? What is it that's driving that desire to have a placement? Why do you want those results? Why is it important? And when you think you found the answer, you probably need to dig deeper. Not often are the whys on the surface. My competitions were an utter dumpster fire until I got back on track with this, remembered my why, and I started dedicating my energy there without any other expectations. Find your why. Work on your why. Number three. It doesn't matter in the long run. I'll be the first to say, being on the podium at the US Open is a goal and one I'll still be working towards, but I can't effectively work on it if I don't have the correct perspective. It's something I want to achieve, but ultimately for my why and for the scheme of things in my life, it doesn't really matter that much. No one will care about or remember that placement. My winning the Open or placing in a contest will not make this community better for others. It'll be satisfying for me, for sure. And I'll be proud of the achievement, and residually I'll have more to share to others along the way because of it, but it really doesn't matter. I'll try my best, but if I don't ever get that placement, it's not going to stop me from what does matter, and that's leaving this community better than I found it. No one's ever going to remember placements. Everyone and anyone will always remember how you made them feel. Always. Separate your goals from what matters without letting either deteriorate.
those are my thoughts. Thank you guys very much for taking the time to listen. If you like this, please share it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Feel free to leave me feedback either on the YouTube comments or uh, through the Facebook link. You'll also start to see my production quality increase as I get better at this. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys very much.